Hey guys, John from Dion Video Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a simple but useful Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export high quality images or a still freeze frame from Final Cut Pro 10. So why would you want to do this? Well, this is a great way to add a thumbnail to a YouTube video, for example, or to a website, uh, and it's a good way to showcase your video and appeal to your audience uh, as I do here on my website too. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we're of course going to have a project and then we're gonna select a frame from that project. So the project we're looking at here is a promotional video I made for a swimwear, uh, swimwear startup. And at the end of the video, we have a very effective end card that can serve as a thumbnail as it features their logo, their links, and my watermark. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and position the cursor to exactly to the exact frame that we want to export here. Once you found that frame, we're going to go ahead and go to the top right of the screen. Under the Share menu, we will select Add Destination. Uh, from here, we have a list of options, but we're going to drag the Save uh, the save Current Frame option into the left here, which is the list of destinations that we currently have. And now that that's there, we're going to close this window and go back up to the same Share menu, and now we'll find this new destination. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click this, and here we have a very familiar menu which will allow us to uh, rename the uh, the frame. So let's go ahead and rename this uh, Toko Swim, that's the company name, and TN for thumbnail. Uh, and then under settings, we're actually able to change the file format as well. So you have larger and smaller file sizes accordingly. Uh, let's keep it as a TIFF file for now, and then we're going to go ahead and select next, and we'll select our destination. We'll do that as our desktop for now. And then once it's done, just like any other export, Final Cut Pro will notify you with the notification. And then if we swipe over to our desktop, as you can see, there it is, the file right there. And this is a great way to simply add a thumbnail to YouTube, or it's a great way to sort of add a cover for your video. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully this was useful. If it was, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.